Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim lunar calendar, uh, during which uh, Muslims fast from dawn all the way through until sunset, without taking any food, any drink, and for those who are ill, including any medication throughout the daylight hours. It's wonderful that the Royal Pharmaceutical Society of Great Britain has taken up this campaign and the MCB is very proud to support it uh, in order to raise the awareness of the Muslim community that it is extremely important for them to take the medication on time without making any changes to the regime and also to raise awareness amongst the community of pharmacists that they are in a position where they can advise Muslim patients uh, and try and find alternative methods for them where they can take the medication and also fast and where that's not possible to recommend to the Muslim patients that their health takes priority over everything else. Muslims face a few health challenges during Ramadan. One of them is um, if they take regular medication, it, it can be quite important for them to make sure that's managed correctly. Um, for example, if they're taking the medication two to three times a day, it may be that they stop taking the medication or they alter the medication. Uh, the Royal Pharmaceutical Society is encouraging people uh, to take professional advice from their local pharmacist. How many times a day does she take her medication? Two or three times a day. During Ramadan, does she miss some of her medication? Ramadan, they take only two or three. Ah, no, 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 of course. No, 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 Okay. We, we would advise that during Ramadan, yeah. the Quran and Islam does give an exemption for people who are ill, mm. okay, and um, so they don't need to fast. If she is on medication, she should see a professional, so she should see a pharmacist. Before Ramadan comes, I, uh, I would be changing the time table for the taking the medication. This is, this is exactly why we're here. First, we, we don't recommend that you change your medicines without speaking to anybody first, such as a pharmacist. Because you're diabetic, we'd advise you to check your blood sugars yes. more regularly during Ramadan to yes. make sure they are still controlled. Can you give us an example of what you would have? Just a little bit salad or soup, which is light, light uh, food, uh, and that's it. You've got a very good example there of what is actually good during Ramadan, keeping it light, um, having a healthy, balanced diet. In the iftar, I actually have I just lose control, I have uh, samosas and prajigas and uh, anything goes really because you're sort of fasting for so, so long and then you sort of get down to eating. This is what we're trying to advise people is that obviously when you break your fast it's very important to keep a balanced diet. Um, that would include obviously have your date and your water. Water is very important all the way through um, and as well as that keep your balance, as diet as balanced as possible. They're open all hours nowadays, they're open you know, late into the evening. You can go in, you can go in with your mother. Thank you. Mate. Ask the advice, tell them what medication she's taking yes. and ask them if there's any alternatives so she can keep taking her medication. If anybody's taking um, a particular dosage regime of medicines, it is tailored to, to them for their condition. Now, if you were to alter that without seeking any advice, potentially, you would alter the management of your condition and you could suffer quite ill health because of that it's potentially quite dangerous so obviously the advice is don't do that don't alter any of your medication go and see your pharmacist and ask for advice before you decide to take any of those steps muslims fast as the quran says to create an awareness of god's presence to be more aware of his presence to be pious to be righteous uh, to stay away from wrong and do as much good as is possible Thank you.